Welcome to Wellbeing Wednesday and I am live today to talk about how can you effectively pack your rucksack on your journey through life and I think this is a really important topic because it really sits neatly in the fact that we can spend so much of our time focusing on where we want to go and none of our time focusing on what we truly need to get there and what we are carrying that we don't need that is going to slow us down and i'm coming at this from a mountain leader perspective so i'm a military mountain leader i've taken people up mountains around the world helping them accomplish things that they never thought was possible and often I find when you get a team of people together to go and walk up a mountain they've never climbed uh, before, they don't really know what they need to go on their journey or they have some kind of concept as to what they need. But when you actually look into their rucksack to figure out what they are carrying, you see that They've either forgotten key items on their kit list, such as waterproofs, uh, is a classic when you're going into the hills, or they've, uh, and water is another classic one, which is essential for survival, or they're carrying things that they absolutely don't need that is really going to weigh them down on their journey up the mountain and on their journey back down so that they can share their amazing adventures with their friends, family, and the wider world. And the same applies in life. And what we find is we all go on different journeys through life. Some people are on really rocky roads and some people are on a really smooth road or a smooth track. But when we're on this kind of journey through life and we've got our rucksack on our back, what we may find ourselves doing is we walk up a path that's quite tricky and sometimes we fall over and graze our knee like our daughter Lily did when she went running with me at the park run um, a couple of weekends ago. And rather than learning the lesson of the fall and remembering to really pick our feet up and keep going and apply first aid if needed, which is what we had to do. We pick up the rock that we tripped over, and pop it in our rucksack to remind us of that fall. And every time we fall over, we pop the rock in the rock of the trip over and we keep reminding ourselves, reminding ourselves, reminding ourselves of the fact that we've fallen over rather than saying to ourselves, okay, I tripped here, this rock I tripped over, my lesson is that I need to pick my feet up next time. I need to take a slightly different route so I don't trip over that rock. And when we take the time to not reflect on the failure that we fell over, but reflect on the lesson associated with the fall and learn our lesson and learn from that experience and learn how to navigate more effectively on the path of life, we don't end up filling our rucksack up with unnecessary rocks that weigh us down and make it much harder to get to, to where we want to go. But we use our experience to propel us forward faster so we get to our destination faster, so we get there more refreshed, much lighter and vibrant and really, really pleased that we learned that lesson and actually really pleased that we fell over on a path previous, 
previously because it made the more tricky path much more easy to manage because we knew how to navigate that tricky path that we're walking up, how to reach that higher mountain, how to go further, how to go faster. And so my question to you today is, what is your rucksack of life filled with? Is it filled with really useful bits of kit that's going to get you to where you want to go? Do you have the right tools in your pack? Do you have the right equipment to get you do to get you there? Do you have the right equipment to weather the storm if the storm arises on the mountain that you're climbing? Do you have the right skills to navigate the mountain that you're climbing up? Do you have the right map that you need and the experience to know how to navigate on that mountain? Or have you not really taken that time to plan and prepare your pack but are carrying a rucksack that has no space for the equipment that you truly need because it's full of the rocks that you tripped over from your past life. And it's really difficult sometimes to know what our rucksack contains in the context of life because we don't take the time to truly check in with what we're carrying with us, what baggage we're carrying with us. So the first step to effectively pack your rucksack on your journey through life is to take the time to look at it and open it up and see what you've already got in it. What have you got in your rucksack that is serving you? What have you got in your rucksack that is weighing you down, that relates to past unhelpful experiences? And that might be quite difficult to access because you may have blocked out those unhelpful experiences. And because you've blocked them, it's like opening your rucksack. It's still full of rocks but you've put a sheet over it to pretend they're not there, but they are still there. And that's why it's so important to get somebody to really help you dive into your rucksack and understand what you're carrying around with you, what baggage you're carrying. Because they can open the lid and go, and look through all the pockets and go, no. do you really need this rock? Do you really need this stone? It's like Lily, our daughter Lily, she loves Stones. She loves collecting these stones and if we put all of the stones that she collected in her rucksack she would have an enormously heavy rucksack and she wouldn't be able to go anywhere fast and she'd ask us to carry it. So when you get somebody to help you look inside your rucksack you can start uncovering those stones, start finding those items that you don't need, start finding those rocks that are really weighing you down on your journey through life and learn how to take those rocks out. Some of those rocks may have been there for years and actually you have to dive really deep into your pack to, to find them and cover them. And some of those rocks actually might be a comfort to you. You might feel, oh, do you know, I really quite like moaning about ABC or I really quite like reflecting on this negative memory because I've become accustomed to it and it's become comfortable, it's become almost like part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> so it's become part of you. It doesn't have to be that way. You, you have the opportunity to let go of those burdens, to let go of that weight in your pack that is really weighing you down. And I know when I help my clients and we dive deep into their rucksack and we look and see what they're truly carrying and take the time to look back into their past and understand how their rucksack is full, that they start to take those rocks out. Throw those rocks out that they don't need. And after even just one session, you find they feel much, much lighter, much, much lighter, and more able to go on their journey through life without having all these negative thoughts and negative emotions. And the key thing here is, is not just to look at the emotional baggage you're carrying or the mental baggage you're carrying, 
but also to look at the two other elements of baggage that we often carry around with us. Physical baggage in the context of clutter, and this is, this is my nemesis, um, because my dad used to uh, used to hold on to everything and I, I have a habit of doing that but I know with lots of clutter it weighs me down mentally and it weighs me down emotionally in my journey through life so look around you and see is all the objects in your environment serving you and helping you propel yourself forward or do you need to get rid of some of that clutter and just say do you know I can let it go because it's not serving me on my journey through life and then also to look at the spiritual clutter so to understand what aspects, what rocks that you are you carrying in terms of someone else's values maybe or unhelpful values that aren't serving you. So our values are, are ultimately our compass in life. So are you carrying uh, compasses that actually don't align with your core values? Are you, are you carrying a multitude of other people's compasses that you don't need you just need your own one to, to help guide you so so what is it that you are carrying in your rucksack emotionally physically mentally and spiritually what rocks you're carrying and once you've taken that time to look at the rocks that you've got in your rucksack and to look at the items that you truly need then you can start to let go of things that you don't need so that when you go and climb the mountain, you have a much more suitable pack with you that you're only carrying the essentials that get you up and down the mountain and that you've learned the lessons and you're carrying the knowledge that you need, the skills and expertise you need to get you there. And if you don't have the skills and expertise that you need, then do make sure you reach out for a guide to help you navigate that path through life can often be so treacherous and by a guide I mean a coach or a therapist that is the right guide for you at the right time in your life. If you would like further support on how I can help be your guide, how I can help empty your rucksack of those rocks that you're carrying then please do reach out to me using the website www.ruthmaryallen.com forward slash connect and arrange a 50 minute consultation with myself so we can discuss your needs and help you empty that rucksack and get going on your journey through life. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye.